hands are tied There's someone in my ear from the other side Telling me that I should lay you home Hey YouTube, it's Anae and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not new here, welcome back and today is going to be a vlog. I don't know where we're going, but I just had to get drip ready real quick. So yeah, I had to get ready real quick. This the fit, check. You know, you know, you know. Okay, let's see how some perfume down where we go. And yeah, I just wanted to start the video real quick. Because I don't know where we're going. Yeah, I have to hurry up. <laughs> Yeah, we in Forever 21, and I'm kind of scared to record in public. <laughs> I'm gonna pull my chop out of it. Cause I'm gonna be scared. Not me, I don't care no more. I don't care. Cause who? Who gonna be scared? Oh my god, they have dresses. Yeah, let me pull my chop out. I don't care no more. I'm in my YouTube era, for real. Oh, let me show you my old TV. Hold on, I gotta put my phone on my chop out. Oh my Copyrighted, oh my god. I see the shorts I got on right now. I'm trying to look for some shorts like that because these are like, yeah, why well, these are not how these shorts look to be. Like, I cut these, I cut, it was some pants and I cut them and I put them in the washer and dryer and they came out like this, which is cute, like, which is convenient, but yeah, I can't believe I'm filming in public and talking to myself. I probably look dumb, but no, I, like I said, I'm in my YouTube era. I like this shirt. I seen this shirt when I was coming in already and I look you like it. Already. This is a medium. I like this shirt. I'm gonna see. Oops. Alright, time to get out the stone. <laughs> That's an athletic wear. So they have like a skill you do. Bro, I can't myself. I can't. There's nothing in here that I like. Maybe I'm gonna go around the store. Let's go around the store. Ooh, you know what? Do you need to look at an ankle here? I need to go get an ankle. Oh my god, I need to go get an English, so let's go. I like these pants, but like none of This is so unfortunate. This is small. These kind of cute look, right? Y'all probably like, is this girl on? Yeah. We got stuff. And now 
we are about to go eat. So see you there. We're at Miller's. I already know what I'm getting. And here's Zinger Mountain Milk in hot. Yeah, I'm getting it hot. Zinger Mountain Milk be so good, but I never finish it. Well, I never finish it. Fine. But this time I'm gonna finish it. Cause I don't need breakfast. And I left my watch in the car, but I don't need breakfast. A lot of stuff in the mall, a lot of at school stuff. So I get home and I get home. something else that's long sleeve because I don't really have long sleeve shirts. Actually this is my second long sleeve shirt that I own. Yeah. Then I got this one that y'all see in the dressing room. Super cute. This is the only shirt that I got from the dressing room actually. Yeah that's it. Then I got these earrings and that's all I got from the mall today for uh, back to school shopping or whatever. And yeah. Now I'm gonna get ready to practice. I don't know if I'm going to practice though because nobody's coming. But I'm probably gonna go anyway, so yeah. If I do end up going to practice, then I'll be back with y'all then. Okay, hey vlog, so change of plans. I'm not going to practice today, but me and Drew are at the park and we are gonna um, color with chalk on the ground. I think I'm gonna draw a strawberry first. I'm gonna draw a strawberry too. Don't forget the green for the leaves. Don't forget the green for the leaves. About to draw. I'm gonna. I draw you. Okay. Look, I draw you. Okay. Show the people you draw. Hey guys, we're drawing. I draw you, and I draw the Okay, let me set the camera up so they can see us. So they can see us draw. Good job. Now record me. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's your time to record me. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay. I did it. Okay, Juju, let's race. Yeah. All right. Okay, so me and Juju about to race. We probably chalk out. Chalk all on my hands. I'm finna set up the camera, Juju. Huh? 
Okay, I'm gonna set the camera up at the finish line. Okay. Good job! Juju kind of fast on that scooter though, for real. It's another one right there. You want to race again? All right. Okay, you ready? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go. You're pretty fast, Juju. Yeah, it is hot. Okay, guys, you about to draw with the chalk. And we'll show y'all our end results. Cause it's almost getting late and it's getting pretty hot, so yeah. Hey, besties, so I just got out the shower and I'm all clean now. And in this video off, I wanted to tell y'all about him. <laughs> Okay, bye. That was so cringy. But if you watch Arrington Allen, like, if you know, you know. So. A couple of days ago, I was, um, I was doing my Bible study. Not even a couple. It was, like, probably two days ago. I was doing my Bible study, and I was, um, reading James. Because I seen this TikTok, because lately I've been trying to get into the Bible. Even though music is like kind of my way that I connect with God more I've been trying to get more into reading my Bible so I seen a TikTok it popped up on my for you page because all the Christian stuff <laughs> be on my for you page and just flowing and flowing so this one caught my eye because it was like she was talking about her way of how she does Bible study and how we can start like she was giving us tips on how to do Bible study so she was giving us the different you know stories and she said James is a good thing to read on how to live like a Christian so I was like, oh, okay, because that's what I need. Like, I know I have faith in God. I know that I love God. I know who Jesus is. I know who God is. But I want to know how to live more like a Christian. You know what I'm saying? So, here in my handy-dandy notebook, I have the notes that I took from my Bible study in the different verses. So, I just want to share some to y'all because, you know, this I have faith on my channel. I'm here. We both here to grow our relationship with God together, you know? So, the first verse that I wrote down is, I don't know how you be saying, how to say, like, the verses, you know, like, do they be, like, chapter 1, verse 3, you know, I'm going to just say it like that, but y'all know, y'all know what I'm saying. Chapter 1, verse 3 says, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. This was the one that I wrote most about, like, the one that I really wrote out, you know, and I said, perseverance means persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. So this verse to me means your faith will continue to build your perseverance and allow you to keep being consistent in your journey with God, no matter how difficult it is. Being a Christian can be hard because of all the temptations. Temptations are the testings of faith, allowing them to make you have perseverance. You see all the sinning and everybody doing this and everybody doing that. And you're just thinking like, dang, like I can't do this. I can't have fun because I'm a Christian. And it's not like that at all. And I feel like those are the temptations, like, you are you feel like you're missing out on what everyone else is doing when really you're not. Because there's nothing great, nothing too great that they're doing. <laughs> everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. You can go for talking to God and talking to people around you. So first, I want to say that's to talk to people around you. Like, when people are talking to you you should be quick to listen like you should be quick to be the listener don't try to speak before thinking you know i feel like i know what i'm saying and slow to become angry don't be so quick to be tempered like learn how to control your anger learn how to be more calm like 
whenever you feel like you're being angry, just, you know, who's <laughs> Me, I'm not a person to be angry quickly. Like, if somebody is bothering me or if something is bothering me, you know, usually I laughed off or usually I just be quiet for a little while, you know. Like, sometimes you just got to not talk because <laughs> sometimes you got to think about what you got to say. The last one that I'm going to share with you guys and then I'm going to end off the video, but it says, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ must not show favoritism. And I feel like this is something that we all do that we don't know that we do. Like, say you're in the game of dodgeball, okay? And you want the athletic people on your team. Like, you're like, oh, I'm going to get all the good people. I'm going to get all the good people. So, you purposely pick all the good people. Like, you pick the people that you feel like are good. But what about the people that aren't good, you know? Think about how that make them feel. Think about, they probably like, dang. Nobody want me. Like, nobody think I'm good for dodgeball. Like, I feel like that's what favoritism is. Purposely picking the people that you feel like are better than the other people. You should give everyone an equal chance because who knows? Just because you feel like those people are good, maybe they're not good today. Maybe they, maybe the people that's usually not good are good today, you know? But I'm still not done with James. It's still all a learning process. And even being a Christian, it's all still a learning process. Like, we're not going to be perfect. Nobody is perfect. And also, like, don't be discouraged if you mess up when you're trying to be a Christian. Like, it's not... You're not going to get on the first try. You're probably not going to get on the second try. You're probably not going to get on the third try. It's a continuous, but you got to make sure you still have faith. Don't give up even when you mess up. Be like, I done sinned so many times. God's not going to forgive me anymore. God's not going to love me anymore after what I did, what I did. This. God forgives. He get, He forgives generously too. Like God loves you so much. He wants you to become better. He wants you to be the best that you can be. He wants you to be like him. So just keep trying because the more that you have that perseverance, like like I was talking about, the more that you have that perseverance is the more that you'll realize, oh, I'm not tempted to do those things anymore. I don't want to sin anymore, you know? Like, so it all comes with patience. Yeah. It all comes with patience. So remember, God loves you always, and I love you too, besties. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for another video. Bye.